If you're looking for June theme ideas for your bullet journal, then I have 12 for you. As you can see here, we're just going in first and putting in the color palettes. As always, these are just ideas of color palettes. You don't actually have to use them if you want to use these themes. But all of the pen numbers for those can be found in the description box below, along with any other supplies that I'm using. Along with the color palettes, each of our little theme ideas for today is getting a little example of the kind of decoration you might want to include if you were doing that theme in your journal. And while some of these I am drawing in myself, we also are making good use of washi tape, in particular from the washi tape shop, and also my faux memo thermal printer. Any time that I've used it in this video, it did just involve me going online and looking up something like corgi coloring pages and then printing that off with the little printer. Because it prints on sticker paper, I could then just stick this directly into my journal. Nice and easy. As the picture suggests, yes, our first theme idea is that of corgis. All of the theme ideas we have for June are related to some kind of day of celebration or recognition that typically happens in June. And International Corgi Day is celebrated on June 4th. I'm sure I'm going to get some backlash for saying this, but I'm not really much of a dog person myself, but I can appreciate the cuteness of dogs from a distance. I just don't like dog fur, like, on me or on my stuff. And I'm ever so slightly allergic. But corgis are so super cute, again, from a distance, if you're someone like me. And I think that they would make a great theme. You could go for a more stylized version of a corgi, like we have with this coloring page print off, or you could try something a bit more realistic. Other elements that you could include in such a theme, if you didn't want to have to draw heaps and heaps of the little dogs, would be things like paw prints or dog toys, bones, food bowls, those kind of things. Our next theme idea is that of fairies, which is related to International Fairy Day on June 24th. I'm not so great at drawing people, so for our example decoration in this one, I used washi tape from the washi tape shop, and this was their fairy's nest set. Because the washi tape wasn't as wide as the box, I did do some cutting out and some layering of it so that it filled up the entire thing. But there are also a couple of different ways you could tackle a fairy's theme. So it could be something like this, where you're using washi tape or stickers, because you can find some really beautiful fairy stickers. Or you could go with fairy silhouettes if you weren't so confident with drawing the kind of no internal features of either the wings or the kind of humanoid form. Or you could go with something a little bit more stylized or fairies from a distance so you don't really have to draw a lot of the features. It could still make for a pretty cute theme. When I was looking up inspiration for this one, a lot of what came up was Winx Club and I'd be totally keen to see a Winx Club theme. Our next theme is related to a celebration that happens on June 18th and is very much a theme that I would like to do in my journal one day and that is a sushi theme as related to International Sushi Day. I've seen people do sushi themes in their bullet journals before and they always look so cute. You don't have to put the little kind of kawaii faces on them, but I always think that they look sweet that way. You can stick with just the regular kind of maki, which is the one with the seaweed around the outside, the little roll, or you could do things like a little tempura or do some wasabi, chopsticks, other bits and pieces that you might serve with sushi, a little soy sauce bottle, some nigiri, or whatever else. As said, I really want to do this theme in my bullet journal one day. I'm not doing it this year, but at some point it's going to happen. Of course, I couldn't do a June theme ideas video without including a pride theme. June is pride month in the US, and I've personally decided that every June I will be doing some variation of a pride theme. But for the decoration example on this one, I wanted to show you how you might use it. Last year, for instance, I did a love is love potions theme. So technically you could think of it as a love potions theme, but the coloring of those love potions was done with the colors of the bisexual pride flag. Similar idea with this one, you could think of it as a fruits and veg theme, but we're specifically using pride colors and ordering the fruits and veg so that you can kind of see that coloration. You could do the same thing for pretty much anything else. So maybe go with a books theme, but the books are in the colors of one of the pride flags. Go with a music theme, but again, using that specific color palette really anything you want. I do appreciate that with doing these themes in our bullet journals, we don't just have to stick to the traditional, quote quote, traditional colors of anything. For instance, you could do the corgis theme, but instead of having kind of regular coloration of a corgi, you could go with purple corgis or blue corgis, whatever you want. It is your journal. Now, our next theme idea is one that I know somebody in our Facebook group has done before, and I thought it was the coolest idea, and that is a cheese theme. The reason that I've picked it for our June theme ideas video is because National Cheese Day is on June 4th, but I do think that this could be a really bright and fun theme to do in your journal. I've gone with the more kind of cartoony version of cheese, the ones that are like really yellow and all of them always look like they're Swiss. But cheeses do come in a range of colors, so that's why on our color palette example here, we have a little kind of gradient going from the very pale yellow to the kind of 
saturated orange, but then also that darker blue color, because you could do blue cheese. Not my personal preference when it comes to cheeses, but it could give you some variation in your color palette for the month. Our next two theme ideas are semi-related to each other, and I'm using washi tape stickers from the washi tape shop for both of them. But our first one is a herbs theme as related to National Herbs and Spices Day. I thought that spices might be a little bit more difficult to draw, but herbs in pot plants would be such a cute theme idea. Because I have used washi tape stickers on mine, my color palette was kind of dictated by what was already on the stickers. But I think that having a nice kind of terracotta color for terracotta pots and then the greens of the herbs would make for a very pretty color palette. If like me, you're not so super good at drawing plant doodles that actually kind of look realistic to the plants that you're trying to draw. Well, one, there are plenty of reference images online that you can use to help yourself out, or two, you just don't put a label on the plant. Then it could be any herb, in theory. Our other related idea to this one is doing a gardening theme, and this one is related to National Gardening Exercise Day, which is celebrated on June 6th. So the idea that gardening is kind of you know, physical exertion, you know, lifting things, digging, whatever else. Obviously I don't do a lot of gardening, so I'm having a little bit of trouble explaining this, but hopefully you kind of get what I mean. Again, I've used washi tape stickers for this, which is a very cute set, but we're thinking about things like gardening utensils, so your little trowel and your little pitchfork that is small. I don't know, a little pitchfork still called pitchforks? Gardening gloves, potted plants again, vegetables, everything else. That one would also make for a lovely journal theme. Our next theme idea is related to a celebration that happens on June 7th, and that is National VCR Day. Might be a little bit of a strange theme, but I think it's one that would actually be very easy to draw as well. You effectively just have a bunch of geometric shapes. So a rectangle for the outside, rectangles for the cutouts where you can look through to see the videotape, maybe another little rectangle for a label, and then some circles for the tape that's inside of those little windows. Fairly geometric, but quite simple to draw. What I've of course also included in my iteration of this is the tape coming out of the VCR, because if you remember VCRs, you always remember the kind of sadness that comes when your VCR machine wasn't doing its job properly and decided to eat your favorite tape. Hopefully not to an extent where you couldn't just, you know, get something out and rewind it yourself, but still, it was, it was a traumatic experience. Let me know in the comments if you're old enough to remember VCRs, or if you're like, Jess, what the heck is this archaic technology you're talking about? Because like, to me, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but I know for some people watching, that's going to be a completely foreign concept. It's one of those like great time indicators. Are you from the time of VCRs or like the time after VCRs? Anywho, on to our next theme idea, which is picnics. International Picnic Day is celebrated on June 18th, and while I probably won't be doing much picnicking in June, just because we're getting into winter, I still think it would make a pretty cute theme for your bullet journal. For the decoration idea in this one, we just have a little person looking eagerly at the goodies that they packed for their picnic. The style of that one is inspired by the Coffee Monsters Co, and there's a link to Helen's shop in the description box. One of the things that I really like about the picnic theme is using a Tombow to make the picnic rug because when you do the lines in one direction and then in the other, any time it crosses over, you get a darkened section of color. So it's a very easy way to make the pattern on the picnic rug. I also feel like I couldn't draw a picnic basket without there being a baguette in there. It just feels like something that has to happen. I've kind of started watching out for that in movies. Like any time somebody comes home with their bag of groceries, they have a baguette. And I'm just like, how many people buy baguettes that often? Like, a baguette is like a special treat for me, it's not like an everyday purchase. <laughs> Anywho, our next theme idea is dedicated to Emily, and this is to celebrate International Axe Throwing Day, which is on June 13th. So yes, you could do an axe throwing theme in your journal. Now I don't think the axes that I've drawn here are quite the right type for axe throwing, but I liked the idea of the kind of crossed over axes and their little decorative bits. If you haven't been axe throwing before, it is super fun. It sounds more dangerous than it is. I mean, I guess if you go to the wrong place and they don't have good safety precautions, then yeah, maybe it is dangerous, but not the one we've had here in Wellington. I think that it would make for really nice decoration though, because you could have like tumbling axes be a like border on the page, and then the crossed over axes like we have here be a cover page for the month, that kind of thing. And if you want to lump in the axe idea with the whole lumberjack deal, then maybe we could have some more of the buffalo plaid. And maybe if you're sensible, unlike me, you won't try and hand draw it. 
Or you could, I mean. I'd say that I've learnt my lesson, but we know that I'll probably do it again one day. Continuing with our dedications, our next theme idea is dedicated to my mum. And while National Egg Month was in May, National Egg Day is in June which feels a little bit strange, but it's fine. You could do an eggs theme. In particular, this one is an eggs with legs theme. So you can see our little chicken legs poking out the bottom of our little chicken egg. Of course, this is just one interpretation of the eggs theme. You could just do like, you know, the, the puddle style egg where you've got the yolk and the white there. I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody do that in their bullet journal before and it was pretty cool. Or you could combine this with a celebration for Dinosaur Day, which is on June 1st, and do a dinosaur eggs theme. Or more likely you've probably seen an eggs theme done in April or maybe March for an Easter type theme. All in all though, I think an eggs theme is a cool idea. While eggs are typically fairly simple to draw because they are just kind of, you know, an oval shape that's slightly wider at the bottom and slightly narrower at the top. Something that's less user-friendly to draw is what our next theme idea is, and that is a typewriter theme. Now, although typewriters are more difficult to draw, you can find really good reference images online, and anytime someone's done a typewriter theme, I think it looks so beautiful. Oftentimes it's combined with things like botanical drawings, so leaves and flowers and other things like that. Notably this one is again just a coloring page that I printed off using that faux memo thermal printer, which technically if you were just going for smaller decoration you could just use to print off all of the decoration for your setup, which is kind of cool. The color palette suggestion that we have for this one mainly focuses on the idea of having those botanicals in there, so some greens for the leaves and maybe some pinks for the flowers or something similar. But you could also just keep it to just the typewriters. If those theme ideas weren't quite what you're looking for, then we do also have a playlist of all of my previous theme idea videos. And while some of them were made for specific months, we also have ones that were just easy theme ideas or other ones that you might want to check out. They're all found in the playlist in the top corner here. Or if you wanted to check out my previous student setups, those are in the playlist at the bottom. Click or tap on either of those and I'll see you over there.